Welcome to TFR Let's Talk. I'm your host, Swapnil Bharatiya, and my next guest is Deepti Shrivastava, Head of Product at Observable. Deepti, it's great to have you on the show. It's very nice to be here. Thank you so much for having us. Since it's the first time I'm talking to somebody at Observable, can you give me a kind of very quick elevator pitch? What is the company all about? Yeah, Observable is here to change um, the world with data visualization. Uh, we provide an expressive and rich platform where folks can create um, you know, interactive dashboards, graphs, charts. Um, and we want to use that to help more and more people who want to communicate uh, with data and gain data insights in a collaborative manner. That's what we are here to do with Observable. Excellent. Uh, when we, uh, you know, talk about data visualization, um, I want to know from you, number one, is that what is the importance of uh, data visualization in today's, you know, kind of BI-driven world? And uh, I will also, if you can, take some time to explain who are you targeting with your solution? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, and I think the first thing is, you know, why is data visualization important? I find that to be a most interesting question because if you think about BI and if you think about data in the world, like data is ever growing, right? And in my background is all in data infrastructure, databases my entire career. And it's interesting because, you know, the last 10 years or 15 years were about how do you store data, how do you securely keep it, and then how you access it. And now it's all about how do you make sense of this data that's continuing to grow, right? And so that's what data visualization is really about. The other interesting fact is that we all think with data, right? We're all looking at charts and graphs, whether it's our Peloton data, whether it's our walk data, whether it's our business data, whether it's our DevOps data, we're all looking at data in the form of charts all the time. We just don't call it data visualization, right? We call it BI or we call it personal you know, um, information or informatics. And it's really interesting when you think about it, it's all data visualization. And we are here to use our you know, many years of expertise in both um, DataViz, our co-founder and CTO, Mike Bostock, you know, was a graphics editor at, at New York Times, and he created um, D3, which is the most popular interactive DataViz tool on the web, one of the most popular. So we're using you know, his 10 years and our 10 years of learning with D3 to uh, create observable and the next generation of data visualization. And my, uh, Melody McFessel, who's the CEO and the co-founder, you know, has years and years of um, uh, experience in the developer productivity space. Uh, she was a VP at Google before this. So, so we're bringing our experience with data and with um, you know, developer productivity, and we want to use that to um, enhance everybody's uh, world who wants to think with data. Who are you targeting with uh, your uh, database solutions or just the platform? Yeah, so I think this goes back to like, everybody wants to think, think with data, right? And we just want to actually make database decisions available and approachable for um, anyone, right, that wants to think with it. So we're really targeting um, sort of developers and developer adjacent folks. Um, developer adjacent means, you know, product managers, business analysts, financial analysts, anybody that really learns and thinks with data, right? Like we know of DevOps and DevOps dash dashboards, we know of BI tools, that's also data visualization, right? And where we fit is we want this whole thing to be online, available, and collaborative, right? So we're trying to break down silos between these departments so that they can all come together um, to work in one uh, document, you know, to both explore data as well as to gain insights and communicate those insights with each other, with execs, um, and sort of generally have a faster decision-making turnaround time. I also want to understand if you can uh, talk a bit about how you are approaching it differently than you know the traditional uh, data visualization companies uh, handle it. Sure, um, observable is different in many ways. Primarily because it's it's on the web and it's JavaScript first, right? So because it's on the web, there is no setup cost, right? It's online. You access it from anywhere. Again, breaking down silos and making it more approachable for anyone. Right, so you don't have to do elaborate setup to you know get started. Um, the other thing is that it's we we help you create live interactive dashboards, data viz, which is um, you know something that's again JavaScript and the web enabled. And and with being online, we um, can provide sort of a more collaborative environment so that more people can come together to look at the data, to explore it, and to communicate insights. I think one of the biggest, in my opinion, key advantages of Observable is that um, it provides you with a space where you can have context 
and dashboards together. So most BI tools or most of these tools, you know, of course, give you very rich and interactive dashboards and dashboard making capabilities. But then you have to take a snapshot of that dashboard and put it somewhere else, whether it's in a document or in a um, slide deck. And then you have to write context around it. Right. And with Observable and with our sort of a notebook platform, you can actually provide the context and the data and the dashboard all in one place. So it gives you, again, faster decision making and also transparency, because ultimately you can look at the data and the code that is powering the platform, powering your visualizations right there, right? You open a cell and the code is right there. So there's you know, great transparency in the decision making, in the data, um, data driven sort of thought process, right? Which is not something that is very easily available to folks. There are silos that you have to go through. You know, somebody produced a dashboard, somebody else copied it, right? Wrote slide deck, somebody else looked at that slide deck and consumed it. And we're trying to put all of that together into one collaborative space. You mentioned JavaScript. Of course, JavaScript is one of the most popular you know, technology out there. But why you are betting on JavaScript? And if you can talk about other core technologies that you are leveraging for uh, data visualization there. I think you sort of touched upon it. JavaScript is the future, right? Um, so the world is increasingly online. Um, you know, JavaScript is the, is the medium, the language of the web, um, right? And we think that, you know, interactivity, data visualization, database decision making, collaborative BI needs to be online for it to really be changing the world and for more folks to be able to, you know, come together, look at the data and um, visualize it, which means gain insights and communicate. So, you know, both from a just numbers perspective, JavaScript is one of the fastest growing languages, you know, um, in the world right now. There are more and more JavaScript developers you know, or people who at least understand JavaScript. And, you know, with being online and on the web, that's where all the interesting, you know, data visualization is happening. That's where all the people are. That's where our community is. You know, we have a very rich and interactive community that um, shares and collaborates in, in building data viz and, and sort of you know, publishing it to the world so that others can learn from it. So it's a really exciting time um, to be using something like JavaScript to be online, um, to be doing data visualization and exploration for the world. Excellent. Now let's talk about plot. What exactly it is? Yeah, uh, I'm very excited to talk about plot. Uh, it's a new open source JavaScript based um, data visualization library that we launched um, earlier in May. Um, and again, as I had spoken about earlier, sort of Mike Bostock, who was the creator of D3, which is you know, what powers sort of all of the exciting data visualization of the world, like we distilled 10 years of experience with that into making a more approachable uh, way to create data visualization. So Plot basically has a more uh, memorable and easier to use API so that um, you can create a, sort of a graph or a chart within as, as simple as one line of code, right? So the point of plot is speed, right? Because it allows you to quickly explore data so that you can figure out what's going on with your data and then visualize it and then share it. But at the same time, it's super expressive and customizable. So being open source and you know, being, being backed by JavaScript and um, you know, having sort of a more expressible API means that you can quickly explore and create visualizations, but if you want to, you can customize it. You know, it's all code. So you can fall back to like creating any kinds of custom charts, graphs, dashboards, anything. Um, and it still has interactivity, right? It still has um, the ability to have powerful, expressive data viz or charts, graphs, dashboards. Um, and doing it fast and doing it in, in a sort of quicker exploration turnaround so that you can, again, make faster decisions, faster communication with data. You mentioned that it's, it's an open source technology. I don't want to go too much into the open source sure. angle of it, though I do want to understand a bit about number one is why you decided to keep it open source or release it as open source. Number two is that um, how are you commercializing it? Is it the core piece that you are using internally, but you have open source the code? Why you open source it and how are you using it? The reason we open source plot is because we actually believe that, um, you know, open source is the way to actually develop software. Like we believe that there is uh, 
power in sharing with the community and letting the community extend and customize uh, what we create, right? Um, D3 was open source and it's gone, you know, many places. And we really just wanted to continue with that because we believe in um, opening up technology and letting more people use it and customize it and sort of extend it beyond our ability or not sort of, sorry, I'm going to do this again. Um, we really believe in open source because um, we, we really want it to be um, extendable by the community. We really believe that, you know, people can look at a technology and then take it places that we didn't imagine. And so we're really excited about, um, you know, seeing where the, where the community takes it. Um, in terms of commercialization, um, so plot uh, is, you know, a, a stepping stone towards making data visualization and data exploration and community communicating data insights um, with the world and making it more approachable. Right. So we believe like the, the platform, for example, um, observable has this thing called data flow, which is uh, unique to the platform and you know when you use plot in observable it gives you more expressivity more power um, to explore data right so we really want to leverage the differentiator of the platform to enhance someone's experience with plot but we don't want to um, uh, vendor lock you in if that makes sense right I, I don't believe that that's the right way to actually commercialize the right way to commercialize is to provide value and then hopefully folks who are deriving value from it, you know, will um, be excited to sort of allow us to have business sustainability. You use the word community a lot of time there. So I want to also understand what kind of community are you planning to build around Plot? Uh, can, if you can also talk about the governance, is it going to be an uh, observable uh, open source tool or are you going to give it to some uh, neutral uh, body? Uh, just just uh, a bit about the community and governance size of, uh, side of the project? So far, we are sort of uh, managing the governance of it, right? It's early days for plot, to be honest with you. We'll see where it goes. Um, by no means do we think that we are the only um, sort of uh, JavaScript based data visualization library out there. We're just wanting to distill it and make it easier for more folks. Um, but there are many other um, data visualization libraries that are also JavaScript ba based, right? Like Vega Lite is one of them. And so really, this is about our attempt to um, distill our understanding and make it more um, approachable for more people, right? Um, and in terms of sort of where it goes, you know, Plot is released as a beta. Um, from our experience with D3 being open source for 10 years, we've seen that the community is actually very active. And, you know, um, unlike what one might imagine, it's actually a very respectful and open community where people share and respect each other's ideas. And we want Plot to progress that way, right? Like we want it to be a welcoming community where people can learn, use Plot to learn JavaScript, use Plot to learn data visualization, use Plot as a conduit to you know, grow their own understanding of data and data insights. Um, and you know, as, as things progress, like we're absolutely going to see um, you know, how we want to continue its governance. Excellent. Deepti, thank you so much for uh, taking time out today and talk about uh, Observable. And I look forward to talk to you again. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. It was so fun to talk to you and thanks for having us.